Global War 36 enthusiast here with a video review of Randall 9449's uh, hand-painted miniatures. I, I can't believe it, but this is my fourth order with Randall. Randall lives in Australia. He uh, does absolutely beautiful work. Uh, good friend of mine. He, uh, he sends me extra pieces. Here are some extra pieces that he sent me. Look at this German camouflaged fighter. That's really cool. Here's an American tactical bomber. Love the, the blue uh, nose cone and then the yellow trim. Look at the details on the side. Really nice. And then uh, here are some German heavy cruisers. I, I like how he put the, the number. Oh, you can't see it, sorry. <laughs> he put the number here on the nose, or on the bow of the heavy cruiser. Very, very thoughtful of you. Thank you, and ex extra generous as always, Randall. Let's see, I, he, I ordered uh, some airborne for the Russians because I, I had a couple airborne, but not enough. Let's move these guys over to the side here. So he's, he's done these guys. And look at the detailing that he's done with these with these Russian paratroopers. Really looking sharp. I love the green berets, uh, green helmets, I guess. Uh, yeah. Then uh, I matched it with some Soviet Marines. And I, I like how he's he's done the uh, combat knife here on the back. I love the submachine guns. They look so cool. And the straps going over the shoulders. You've got uh, Russian decals. Every single unit he's got is, is labeled with its nationality. Great attention to detail. Look at these American paratroopers. Happened to put them all backwards, didn't I? Wow, it's really nice. The uniforms are really, I, I, I don't know if I have enough light for you guys to see this. Um, look at the shoulder on the shoulder there of that trooper. He's put an insignia, that is so cool. I couldn't see it, I actually couldn't see it. It, it normal, uh, my vision isn't good enough, but here it magnified at 4x. I wonder if I can go up even further. Let's look at, oh yeah, this is the way to go on these guys. Eightfold increase, and you can, you can see these. That's really amazing. Beautiful, oh my gosh, this is really great. I have uh, German Airborne. Yep. Eightfold is, I'm going to go back to four. Get more of this on, on screen. Look at the detailing there and the camo on the, on, on the Fallschirmjägers. Oh, that's really great. It, I'm really actually appreciating this even more under magnification. I, I'm sure you had to do this under a magnifying glass, Randall. Oh, this is, these are, these are great. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to add in the airborne and then also I asked him to do a couple of Marines for me. Right now I'm playing Commonwealth so I hope these don't see any action. Oh man, that really nice meticulous detailing you can see on the hands there. Um, <laughs> the fun doesn't stop because I did the same thing for Japan. Got the Japanese airborne. Look at that on the back, how he did the backpack. That's awesome. And then the Marines, the matching set of Marines. The bandoliers he's got, really nice, sharp, crisp lines. 
very, very uh, a master craftsman. Uh, the British got the Red Devils. The, these guys have the berets. That's what I was, was talking about earlier. I, I think these are, are perhaps my favorite, the Red Devils, just because the uh, first time I had ever heard about them was the episode in Band of Brothers, um, where uh, actually the, the American Rangers go over to, to relieve the British Red Devils. That's a good episode. Such a great series. And then here are the Marines. Um, and and I, all of these units I haven't pointed out, but my standard is to have the base be white if they're airborne and green if they're Marines. I really appreciate Randall doing that for me for all these, all these sets. Um, oh gosh, these are so, so nice. And then new units that HBG has out that I want to draw your attention to are these Italians. Um, I'm blanking on their names, um, but they had these, these tassels or these things on their helmets that you can see that, that Randall's done to make them pop out. These, these are actually, these might be my favorite pieces that you've done for me, Randall. These are really nice. Um, you can see how sharp that is. Uh, yeah, I really like how those turned out. And then similarly, you can also get these from HBG. These, I think these are 3D printed pieces for Italy. Um, these are what I'm using for my Marines. So you can compare that to what I'm using for my Airborne. Um, oh man, these really turned out nice. Look at that. Okay, uh, so those are my sets of Airborne and Marines. And uh, now I wanna talk about something extra that Randall did for me. This is like the standard uh, Axis and Allies Tiger Tank size. You know, um, for comparison, here's like an Italian medium armor. Um, I actually, th I think that's a piece maybe that Linkler did for me. Um, so the Tiger Tank is, is in the same realm. But HBG had been selling these guys as the Japanese heavy tanks, and it's it's actually too big for the map. It, it's it's kind of obnoxious. It's like it's oversized, and so even though God, I love this piece, it's it's absolutely gorgeous. But it was just too big and wieldy. If you if you compare it to a normal size infantry, you can get a feel for how massive this thing is and how much space it was taken up on the board. You know, so uh, HBG has produced a smaller uh, heavy tank, uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put a link in the description below. I'll, I'll try to put in a link to what this one, the oversized one, the original, and what HBG. I'm not even sure if these are yet for sale. I actually think these are are going to come up for sale, but these are a much better size because it's clearly larger. But it's but you can just see how it's not overly large, you know. Let me put these in in order with the front of the tank, so you can get a feel for for the size. So clearly, this is larger and more indicative of a heavy tank. Uh, uh, shout out to to my friend Silk. <laughs> He's the reason I have to I have to get so many Japanese heavy tanks because. He, he is a big proponent of, of the Japanese uh, heavy armor tech, but, but these guys are a little bit too big. So I'll, I'll put in links if we don't have, if HBG doesn't have this one for sale yet, um, then when it, when it does, I'll add that in the description below. But, but let's, so let's focus on the handiwork of, of uh, Randall 9449. Look at, look at this tank. That is beautiful. You got the, you got the decal on the side or decal if you're a Commonwealth person. Um, yeah, I really like this camo pattern. Um, and he's, he's done so many of these for me. So I will be loaded for bear uh, the next time I have to play Silk and he's Japan. Right? Um, so another, this is my fourth order uh, with 
Randall 9449. Uh, such a generous person, always goes above and beyond. He's really attentive to what you're looking for. If you're, if you're thinking of ordering with him, yes, he lives in Australia and it does take a while, but it's worth the wait. And, and this, these things are like heirloom quality items, so I'd highly recommend it. Um, I also want to tag on to the end that uh, my mom sent me the money for this order. Uh, so this is my birthday present for my mom. Thanks, mom. You can tell how much uh, I enjoy this.